Hello and welcome all to the mission editor from Ship Simulator Extremes. Today I'm going to build a very simple and small mission because I want to keep this tutorial short. And uh, in this tutorial I'm going to refer to the mission editor guide, this one. And it's describing all the functionality in detail. Uh, but today I'm on Today I want to show you how you can make a, a, a simple mission very fast. So the first thing we have to do is add an environment. Because we only have a sky sphere right now. Uh, with some high clouds. And we need to say what environment this mission is going to take place. So we have a list. Um, I'm going to select one. Uh, Sydney. It's okay. Then we still don't see it. We have to click on the switch to environment button and it's loading the environment it can take a while it's a big environment so be patient okay and there we are in Sydney center so skyline opera house and the harbor bridge um, well our mission is going to take place here in the city center and we need a player ship. So we have three tops here, player, static and AI. AI is for AI ships and for animals. Static is for uh, other objects like uh, bollards and uh, area entities. But first we need a player ship. So I'm going to select one. Uh, it's the Ari Visser. And I'm going to place it near the shore. If your camera is not uh, focusing on the on the correct spot, you can select the entity you just placed by double clicking on it and then move your mouse to the render scene and it's focusing on that entity. So it's a uh, waiting here. So this is the start of the mission. One player ship. So now we have a player ship in the scene and uh, we need a target. Where where do we want the player to go? Okay let's say uh, sail past the uh, opera house. So I'm going to place an area entity. Sphere area entity like so and um, placing it in front of the opera house okay now we have two entities in the scene entities in mission that's the Ari Visser player ship and the sphere area entity mission properties or go to options mission properties okay let's give it a title mission editor the basics create a router swinnenhuis and uh, difficulty is deckmate it's going to be a very simple mission start ship oh, there's only one in the scene so select Ari Visser uh, I'm going to make it in English damage is there a briefing and uh, well this is a harbor mission and a cool action mission okay so now we have the mission properties now we can save the mission choose which folder you like it to save it here. Mission editor the basics. Save. We need to give the user an objective to say okay sail to the opera house or sail to this area and uh, do something. So we are going to open the logic editor. You can open it by 
two ways on the options menu or here in this toolbar there's also a logic editor button and as you see this is totally empty um, the first thing we need is a start signal here we have three different nodes start event and a trigger and a state so start event we need that one mission started uh, and what this one do is uh, when the mission is started in game it fires a signal and the signal goes to all the nodes underneath so I need a trigger we can connect this start event to the first trigger that is by hovering over the middle circle but what I rather do is use the shortcuts and they're all described in the mission editor guide okay I'm going to rename this one start event after the start event it's uh, creating the first trigger and this is going to be my initialize in it and there's nothing in the initialize yet but we probably need it uh, later on so this is a good start and after the initialize we need a new state and a trigger so let's link it up already select the state new trigger ok this state needs no name first trigger this is going to be rename it in uh, start objective 1 so this is a good uh, start for my mission so in here in this uh, in this node in this trigger I want to start the first objective uh, go to the variable top and click on the add new one then you get this pop-up window and we first have to select a variable type there's a long list boolean entity float difficult names but they are described in the editor guide um, we need an objective so create one name it objective one and give it a description this is this description is what the player is going to see in game when we say start objective it will pop up a window with this description so um, the first one is uh, oh no, go to the area when I go to the opera house And here you can give the uh, user a more precise description uh, like um, earn more your ship and sail to the opera house dot uh, the mooring thing I will do later but okay this is the first objective objective one with this node selected we have here two buttons uh, add condition property and add action property so we don't need the conditions because this is the start of the mission so it's just starting the first objective click on the action button and find the objective actions uh, Objective start, objective fail, clear, body, start. We need a start. Then we get an objective button. We have to select the right objective. I only made one, so objective one. Okay. So this is the first logic of the mission. I'm going to save it and test the mission, see if it works. Go to the Opera House, it works and when we click on the little white arrow unmoor your ship and sail to the opera house stop 
stop testing. Set sail to the Opera House. And now we need some logic to check if the player is actually there. So I'm going to place a state and a trigger and link it up again. I'm going to rename the state and rename this trigger. This trigger will be clear objective one. And when is the mission cleared? If this player ship, the Ari Fischer, is in this sphere area entity. So we okay. Now we want to want to check if the Ari Fischer, the player ship, is in this area. Because that is the objective, sail to that area, and if it's there, the objective is cleared. So, we select the right node, the clear objective 1, and add a condition. The condition is area contains entity, it's the, the top condition in this list. Uh, there are loads of conditions. Uh, well, we're only using one right now, but uh, they're all described in the uh, in the document from Michael Boos, the mission editor guide. Okay, area contains entity. Now select entity A. That's the player ship. Select from scene. You can click on it in the 3D scene or click it on the entities in mission list. Ari Fischer and area B well that's the Opa house building area ok is Ari Fischer, Ari Fischer in sphere area entity 1 ok the condition is set and now we want to perform an action if this condition is true so action is objective cleared Go to the O objective. Clear. We have to select which objective. Well, objective one. And the message is nice job. Cap. And uh, click OK. OK, OK. And if this objective is reached, then we want to perform another action and that is mission cleared because this mission is over after this objective so we look at the mission mission clear win, lose fail we'll choose the clear win with also a message uh, great job you cleared the mission Okay, okay. So that's it. This is a very simple mission with only one objective. Let's test it. Click on the test mission button. Go to the Opera House. And right now I can't sail in the mission editor, so I'll have to drag it into the area over here. Objective cleared. Nice job, Cap. So this is a very simple mission. It only took me 13 seconds to uh, to reach the, the objective. And this is also um, a small test. This is a mission editor test. If you really want to make a good mission, you have to test it in the mission editor and in the game itself.